tomorrow we are shooting a cover and editorials for a magazine called Dress to Kill, and we're gonna be shooting in the Red Rocks in this gorgeous location. Did anybody else get the flash flood warning on their phone? I had a siren go yeah. off. <laughs> That's not good. We didn't come here for the rain, we came here for the sunshine and the bright colors. We're gonna have to figure this one out. Jesus! What does Mother Nature has in store for us right now? Maybe hail? You know, it's not a matter of just getting one shot. We have to get eight great shots plus a great cover, and then we have to get great options as well, so. Time and pressure is on! It's a lot. Hello? Hi. Which package? Would he be able to re-deliver it instead of me having to come at 8.30 p.m. because I actually have to get up to um, a location that's two hours outside of Los Angeles and I need that package before I leave and that would make me really, really late? <laughs> Tomorrow, we are shooting a cover and editorial it's for a magazine from Canada called Dress to Kill. And we have a beautiful girl, Harriet Paul, who's a Canadian beauty that is just the perfect person for the cover. The shoot is about future design. So we have these space helmets and we're gonna be shooting in the Red Rocks in this gorgeous location. You know, yeah, it might rain or a package may not arrive or something might get dirty, but we are going to come together and make everything happen because that's just what we do. Can I come back from New York to Los Angeles? Yes. The driver informed that he came by at 12.58 p.m. Nobody was in. I'm no longer in the area. I'm sorry. Okay, but they said they're going to attempt again today, no? Let me call dispatch and confirm. In the meantime, package time. This one is from Gucci, Louis Vuitton. Little Versace denim jacket. Oh, yes, they sent me the belt. Excellent. The, the best part about the unboxing is I get to see what they sent me, see the extra things they sent me, and then I can know if there's anything that I'm missing that I still need to get or that I can also maybe use from another designer. What's really cool for me is that I get to have these clothes in my presence that to me are like little fashion art pieces. My goal is to shoot these pieces the way they should be shot and give new meaning to them and give new life to them and create stories with them. <gasps> yes, thank you so much. We got the package. Bow, bow, bow. Stunning picture showing how heavy rain is triggering mudslides and flooding. There have been on and off periods of rain here in Southern California. This super soaker of a storm brought 12.8 inches of rain to the San Bernardino Mountains above Yucaipa. Definitely going to be a challenge. They say it's going to stop, but they're not always right about that. We're gonna have to find some interesting ways to adapt to the situation. You know, it's not why we came here. We didn't come here for the rain. We came here for the sunshine and the bright colors. We're gonna have to figure this one out. Flash flood warning on their phone. I had a siren go yeah. off. Say, I didn't. Emergency. I, didn't. I took a screen grab of it. Wait, I saw the flooded alert. sign up there. It was like flooded on it the says, side of the flash highway. Flash flood warning in this area until 10:45. Please avoid flood areas. This is just the calm before the storm. So, like for another like like between 10 and 11:30, it's supposed to really rain hard. It's perfect that it's raining I'm then, for hopefully, because you're going to meet hair make. They're going to meet hair make. Yeah, tomorrow, so. I think it's kind of perfect. I think we just have to know that it's not going to be raining this afternoon, and that we're just going to have to push through and do like. You know, shoot fast. We can change her fast. I'll try and use waterproof makeup. Yeah. Um, things that won't break down in the rain. We already discussed with the Some hair. Hair, um, hair that works in the rain. So mm. the Glam Squad's got you covered. Yeah. But the location's fantastic, right? It's amazing. Yeah, it's perfect. Ooh. All right, let's All right. unpack. I love the fog over here. I mean, that's amazing. If we could keep that and lose the rain, that would be perfect, actually. But right now we'll go up and have a look and see uh, how muddy it is up there. See if it's uh, possible to walk. 
These balloons are key to the vision of the project. We want to get them in as many shots as possible. So you don't think it's going to burst? Just careful, that's the slippery area there, I think. I think the balloons are going to be great. I was a little concerned they might be a bit weird, but I think that little bit weird is a good thing. We're going to get a lot of them spread across the landscape here, and it's going to be just the right touch. Now we do some unpacking, and then we take a look at the clothes so that we can finalize the hair and makeup. Matt, this is the dress. Look at that. Oh, yeah, that'd be that so Chanel? good with that. I'm wear it. You know when you work with people you know for so long, you just feel like this is how every shoot should be. Just fun, working together, enjoying each other's time, and creating art. It's beautiful. Okay, guys, so... Okay, Matt, I mean, so out there with the balloons. Yeah, we're um, starting it's, with the balloons. We're starting, we have the balloons. We're starting with the balloons. Um, we're out there placing the balloons right now. I mean, just what occurs to me is this repetition, this design repetition of the, you know, Matthew came with the idea of the, of the pearls, the roundness of the pearls, the roundness of the balloons in the background. I think that's a good idea. Just did like one like nice little artistic swoosh. I just did like look, one yeah, random this way. swoosh. I'm going above the eye. Well, it's a beautiful randomness. I want to start with this one because it's very spacey in general. I love the silver. Yeah. Okay, so and just it. make sure we get some shine. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I think she's gorgeous. She is beautiful. I don't want the blue light. It's not two lights at once. It's always only one light. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of cool. We're going to go with like a blue shadow. Yeah. Yeah. If there is shadow. OK. Let's start. Where you went like this, that was beautiful. You see those two balloons? I'm afraid those are the last two we see. The balloons are a bit of a challenge with the mud, but uh, it's just getting them back and forth and kind of positioning them in the right spot. So it's so a, a process, but we're getting there. Usually this is how it all happens. We all kind of come in, help the model get her dressed and get ready to start shooting. We're lucky because Harriet is such a good model. She's gonna be able to take the clothes and move in them and elevate the shoot to the next level. It's just too easy to make this look good. It's like she's just selling it. That's so great. That's so great. Ooh. All right, it's good. Oh shit, it's getting windy. Over this one. Careful, don't fall now. Oh! Oh, there goes another one. Oh! Just lost four balloons. Oh no, five. Another interesting development as all our balloons fly over the horizon. We got a few extra, but we can't afford to lose. Oh my God, look. Well, it's kind of beautiful in a way. Oh man, about all of them. Except this one. <laughs> Jesus! All right. You know, there was a wind warning. They said 20, 30, 50 mile an hour winds gusting to 50, 60 miles an hour. And that's what we just saw right now. We just lost all our crops. What does Mother Nature has in store for us right now? Maybe hail? You were in the motorhome for that? Oh, it was kind of cool. <laughs> One came loose and then he chased it across. He's slipping and flying across the landscape. It happened all at once. Luckily, we've saved a few balloons and we're just going to have to use them sparingly for the rest of the day. Is the light working? Yeah. Why? We're having a little trouble with the uh, lighting system. It keeps not working, which is a problem. Beautiful, beautiful. Fuck! So full power. Beautiful. Maybe an outfit? Wear a 
Canada proud. Put it in there. Put it in there. Oh, Canada. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we got it. We got it. Coat on. We still need, you know, at least two or three really good cover options, so we've still got a long way to go. I'm saying realistically, too, I would like 10 pages. If it's eight pages and a cover, I'm okay with it. We got three hours of sunlight left, so. But we also have helmets with color, lights. with lights in them, which could yeah. be a really cool nighttime shot to like yeah. segue into the finale of the story. Mm -hmm. It's looking really good, guys. Like, so um, I'm gonna ask, actually ask you to leave because the model needs to change. No cameras. <laughs> Light is going down. Definitely feeling the pressure. We've got at least six more looks to shoot, plus the cover. It's raining, it's windy, we're cold. Next. Next. Okay. Would this be a good one to do sort of like low angle, stark against the cliff? Yeah. 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 Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. The wind is really the best part. You got it, Chris? We got it. The last shot was fantastic. The, the wind really worked in our favor and it was such a strong outfit that Carrie put together. Um, I know everyone felt like we were suffering a little bit, but the shot looked so good. <laughs> But don't be shy to even go in tighter for portrait. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Wow! Wow! Did she turn down the light? I feel like I, I mean, I don't really like a more three cool like a... Okay, is it correct? I don't want it overly flared. Okay, turn it down and stop. Now, I think this is the cover, honestly. I think. That's good. Ooh, that's, that's stunning. Gorgeous. The beauty in that is gorgeous. <laughs> if we go yeah. for a three quarter mm -hmm. outside, we can go for this. How great inside. would that be as the cover all bleed it out like for a spring summer issue? Yeah. I think we have it. I think we have it. Just beautiful. Uh, this is the one with the backpack or the yeah, yeah, backpack, backpack and, and we that. could put the helmet on if you want to put it on. So this closes also, but then it makes it harder to see her. Well, I was thinking. What if we put it halfway just to the eyes? This landscape reminds me of Africa. A little bit of where I come from. Everything is so like beautiful. You had like a little look off to the side there. Let's try it again. There's something magical about it. And that's the beauty of somebody like Chris that yeah. has that level of expertise yeah. is to yeah. know how to capture those moments and bring it to life. It's like none of us knew what he was going to do and then he does it and you're like, wow, that's amazing. It's fashion! This is fashion! So for this last look, we've already done a silver look, we've done a gold look, and now to do a third look to blend it all together, we're going to do a silver and a gold. Second to last look. Time and pressure is on. We have to provide some variety. You know, you can have a fantastic image, but the next image has to surprise equally. You know, it's not a matter of just getting one shot. We have to get eight great shots, at least, plus a great cover, and then we have to get great cover options as well. So, that's a lot. We've got two more shots to get. We have just about 20 minutes to finish up here before the sun really seriously starts to go down. We're hoping to get the last shot like right at dusk and the model has to fly right out of here and head to LAX. Rapid fire. I think we got it. Okay. We got some great shots I'm gonna there. Change her now. 
Yeah, that was a nice. It was a nice, uh, different look. The colors were so beautiful, and it really helped that the that the dress was uh, was white um, against the dark cliffs. It was very dramatic. She's such a, just a joy to photograph. She's so great. So the last shot we're gonna introduce a bit of a you know man-made element. We're adding in the road. I don't think we're gonna try any balloons in this one, but uh, this will be like the last shot in the story of her walking down the road with her helmet on. Do you see this light right here? Not looking so good, but you know what? We're gonna get it. We're gonna get that shot. I might run out of battery soon. Yeah. Okay, 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 come back. Oh Maybe God. she's, Chris, it's, it's fucking so good. good. Look at that everyday light. Yeah. All right, we've got it. That's a wrap. What do we have? <laughs> we got the shot. That's we a wrap. We got the shot. Harriet <laughs> Paul. Okay, now let's get in the car. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, it had cool. To do with it was very no. cinematic. Yeah. And those are the types of photos that you would like want printed on your wall. And I think that's yeah. why we do this, because you create these images that are referenceable. There's something to be said for when things go wrong, it makes the experience better. The weather's just been insane here. They predicted rain all day originally, and then the, the rain went away, the sky cleared, and then the wind came and blew all our balloons away. It's incredibly cold out here in the desert. And then we were chasing the time, really just the clock was working against us and we had, you know, a lot of shots to do and in the end, we got it. <laughs> <laughs>